Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my review for The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 11. And this episode came out on March 11th, 2018. And this episode I thought was good. Probably uh, one of the weaker episodes of the season. Um, I think, obviously, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. It's not the worst one because that goes to Episode 6. But it's definitely one of the weaker ones. But it was still good. Um, and obviously this one, it was the same case, um, it had like a lot of mini storylines that took place, like it had two big ones, but that had a lot of mini ones, which was strange. Uh, they had a lot, uh, pretty much this was everything that was going on with everybody, um, that we didn't see in the last episode. Um, so I don't really know where to start talking about it. Um, I guess the best way to go from is I'll start talking about just kind of a mini storyline that took place and it was um the stuff that went on with uh Morgan, Carol and uh Henry. And obviously Henry is I think a little bit distraught with himself um because uh you know um he's ended up killing Gavin and that wasn't something he wanted to do. So, Morgan, Carol can kind of see that um, Henry and Morgan just aren't really doing very well. They're kind of uh, crazy. You can kind of see that, like, in a way, Henry's kind of turning into Morgan a little bit. So, eventually, Morgan wants to tell um, wants to tell Henry that Gavin was the one that killed his brother, and Carol doesn't want to. Then, eventually, he does. And there is something that makes him do that, and I won't really get into that now. Um, and I actually thought that made sense, uh, that was a good, that was a decent storyline, I'll give it, like, a thumbs in the middle, it really wasn't, um, it really wasn't, like, a big enough storyline to really talk about, um, and then we see Daryl, Rosita, uh, Tara, uh, Dwight, uh, Sadiq, and the rest of the members of, um, Alexandria, uh, making their way to the hilltop. Um, and they realize they have to go in through the woods because, uh, um, yeah, they realize they have to go in through the woods because the saviors are out on the streets trying to find, uh, um, the, uh, the Alexandrians. So, a walker comes in and tries to attack him, and Taylor throws it at Dwight. Now, this was supposed to be, like, one of those funny moments where they try to make Taylor seem like she's funny, but she's really not. This was one of those cases. But Dwight's able to uh, kill the walker. And, um, yeah, pretty much what happens is Taylor doesn't, uh, Taylor pretty much doesn't trust Dwight. Um, and she wants to execute Dwight right now. And Daryl and Rosita are trying to talk them out of it, because are talking them out of it because they still need Dwight because um, even though, um, the saviors might not trust him, he knows how Negan thinks, and this can be to their advantage, and they realize they have no way to get back to, uh, the hilltop, so, um, Dwight tells them, uh, that they can go through the swamps, because it's too dangerous for, um, the saviors to go there, and, um, you know, if they go that way, they won't have to run into any saviors. And obviously, Taylor doesn't want to do this because if it's too dangerous for um, the saviors, why should they go there? And um, Dwight realizes that they're not going to trust him right away and says that um, all I want to do right now is just to take down Negan and take down the saviors. And then whatever happens after that happens. Um, so then they go to go through the swamp. And Daryl, Rosita, Sadiq, um, and one of the Alexandrians, um, going through the swamp to clear out all the walkers. And, um, as they do this, uh, Taylor wants to stay back with the group. And they, um, she ends up seeing a walker and, um, or well, a few walkers. And Taylor wants uh, Dwight to come help them take to come help her take him out, and she uses this as a ploy um, to pretty much go murder Dwight. 
Dwight does apologize for the loss of uh, Denise, who was obviously remember from season six. Uh, it was Potner. And she tries to murder Dwight. Dwight, es Dwight escapes. And during the fight, um, we hear the rest of the save. We hear some saviors uh, looking for them. And Dwight pops up out of the bushes. And they don't really know that Dwight ended up attacking a few of the saviors. So uh, they think that he, um, he's still with them. And he asks about the girl that ended up taking off and says um, that they haven't seen her. So pretty much Dwight is still kind of in charge in a way, and he could still be the man on the inside. And Dwight um, lures the uh, other saviors away, and um, Rosia Zeta saw all this happen, and Dale was pissed at uh, Taylor because now he's um, worried that uh, Dwight's going to give away their location, and Taylor doesn't think that um, that he's going to. And that was pretty much everything that took place with everyone from the Alexandra um, Travelers. Um, overall, I like that storyline. I like the stuff they did with Taylor and Dwight. It makes sense that Taylor wouldn't actually want to kill him since he killed um, a partner. And it makes sense because Dale still wants to kill Dwight after all the heinous things that he did to him uh, throughout these past um, two seasons of Season 6 and Season 7. So I think that makes sense. Um, and then we had uh, everything that went down at the hilltop. I already talked about the Morgan Kale stuff. I guess I could have saved that for this. But pretty much Maggie has to make a lot of tough decisions because uh, they re um, she realizes um, somebody comes in and tells her that uh, they are running out of food, so they're going to have to start rationing. So then Maggie and then Gregory um, tells Maggie that um, you know he's been really good. And they should get, and the prisoners say that they should get um, some time to w walk around and roam free. And Maggie um, at first doesn't listen, but then at the end of the episode, towards the end of the episode, she eventually uh, lets them um, actually walk around and roam free. And after this happened, and before this had happened, the rest of the members of Alexandria come in, Dale and everybody, and pretty much they tell them about Carl's death, and everybody's upset, everybody's really upset, especially Eden, since they were kind of a thin, so yeah, I thought that was a good scene, and then that was pretty much, uh, everything that kind of went on there, and then we had, um, everything that went on with Gabriel and, uh, Dr. Carlson, and we find out that, uh, we see that Gabriel can't really read the map very well, um, and, um, yeah, we pretty much find out that the, he's blind as a bat. Um, probably blinder than whatever is blinder than a bat, but, um, but they have to keep moving, um, forward, and they can't get their car to start, so, uh, Gabriel hears something happen, um, and we find out that it's, uh, there was a cabin out there, and, um, Throughout this journey, Gabriel had talked about um, how God's always leading the way because it's very religious. And um, Dr. Carlson wasn't believing any of that. And pretty much what happened throughout this storyline was um, it made it look like God was looking out for Gabriel because um, the person who was living there had um, strangled themselves with a plastic bag and found out that the, um, he, the guy has antibiotics. and then. Um, he knocks down, uh, Gabriel accidentally knocks down, um, a piggy bank and finds a piece of the car. So it's look like everything's going to work out for these people. Um, so yeah, it was supposed to be like one of those storylines where God was really looking out for Gabriel. And then eventually what happens is, um, there was the sign that he actually had heard when they go to go towards the garage to get the car, you find out that there's Walker trap trap well bear traps for walkers and dr carson accidentally gets caught in one and he try he ends up shooting down a couple of the walkers and then eventually um gabriel ends up shooting one of the walkers that gets um attacked on dr carson and um 
Gabriel and Dr. Coulson have um, tried to escape. They get the car to go to um, Alexandria, uh, not to the hilltop. And then uh, the saviors catch them, and they're about to take them back to the sanctuary when Dr. Coulson t uh, grabs his gun and well, goes to grab one of the savior's guns, and the savior kills Dr. Coulson. So obviously, Gabriel was upset about this. And then, pretty much, the end of the episode was uh, throughout the episode. Um, Negan tells Eugene, uh, well, he was asking how Dr. Carlson and Gabriel could have escaped, and, um, he also, uh, is gonna let Eugene run his own outpost, um, and make the bullets, but then we see at his outpost, uh, Eugene's acting like a huge asshole towards one of Negan's wives and treating her like crap, and then eventually Negan walks in with Gabriel and reveals that he's going to be helping him sort through bullets. And uh, Negan wants um, the bullets in but um, by a certain time. So that way they can go um, kill everybody in the militia. But Negan tells them that they're not going to be ready in time. So they can make slingshots. And then Negan says that he has another way. And another way is he's not just going to um, kill the militia members of the militia. He's gonna let them reanimate and turn into walkers. And then that was the end of the episode. Uh so that was so yeah, overall I thought this was a pretty good episode of uh Walking Dead. I'll give it a seven out of ten. I thought it was good. I give it a C. I thought it was uh good, followed through some storylines, but you could definitely feel like this was one of those episodes that uh was kind of just uh also there at the same time trying to keep uh the storyline going because they don't want to end the storyline yet. They probably want to wait till the season finale. So it is what it is. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video um, so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more content and click on the bell so that way every time you upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.